expects to come up here shortly as well here. So uh, these, along with uh, the crews on the ground, have really been working to contain this fire to uh, the present lines here now. Uh, let's shift over to the 14th Freeway real quick. The 14th Freeway is obviously going to be shut down here and has been for the better part of the morning because this fire has literally crept down to the edge of the 14th Freeway. In fact, overnight, during some, uh, over some portion of the 14th, it actually jumped the freeway. So this is actually the part of the 14th Freeway that is shut down between Golden Valley on the south side and Agua Dulce on the north side here. Look at all the fire that's burned all the way to the edge of the freeway. Look at the firefighting apparatus and the firefighters that have kept that fire from jumping this particular stretch of the freeway here. They have worked hard all night long, all yesterday afternoon and all morning to contain this fire to what you're seeing here though. If we pull out to a slightly wider shot, we'll give you kind of a perspective shot here. So that is what has burned uh, over the course of the past, uh, well, day or so since this fire broke out yesterday afternoon. So you can still see that active flank of the fire that is burning close to us now. Over near the top edge of the screen here is that neighborhood that Eric Spillman was working at, and that is where a fire was burning uh, one of a few homes along Sequoia Road here. So that is going to be an area of concern as well. Bear with me just a second here. That is going to be the fire, uh, that house that was burning uh, all morning long that Eric Spillman has been at. So if we go and it might look like this is just forest area, but now that the sun's coming up, you can actually see um, at the tops of the hills, there are actually a number of homes. There's a whole neighborhood just behind where this forest is. So effectively, these trees and all the stuff you see burning right now, this is right in the backyard of a, 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 of a pretty big, well-populated community. Of course, this whole area is under mandatory evacuation. Firefighters look like they're uh, using some wire snips right now to cut away parts of this fence so they can get through there and run their hose up into where this fire is currently burning. This is just one of the many spot fires that we've been keeping an eye on through uh, most of the morning. You see, uh, I mean, what these guys are doing right now just goes to show you how difficult it can be to fight a wind-driven fire like this because you know, even though you, you can't get to some of these spots on foot because of fencing and walls and you know, other geographical features, the fire has no problem being uh, carried by uh, the winds. You have, in many cases, burning embers being thrown from spot to spot. So cr crews just now on the ground getting some of their hoses up to where this fire is burning behind homes here in uh, uh, just off of the Soledad Canyon off-ramp off the 14th Freeway. We'll keep an eye on it and monitor the situation. I'll send it back to you guys for now. Okay, Steve, we appreciate uh, a look at what you're seeing there in Canyon Country. We want to get to Mark when it comes to the weather, Mark, and this was the, kind of the recipe for disaster. Low humidity, high temperatures, strong winds, and that's currently what we're looking at with that map there. Exactly, and you can see the strongest winds right now are right along the 14th. And uh, that area in the purple and those winds are extremely strong. And they always pick up right about now, maybe even about half an hour ago, when the sun comes up, you get the uh, cooling uh, or the warming of the uh, land. The ocean doesn't warm as fast, and you get those gusts whipping across and uh, just outside of Acton. And along the 14, where the fires are burning, that is one of the areas where the winds are the strongest, and you'll be seeing that over the next couple of hours. Uh, then later on this afternoon, this is around 10 o'clock, things really start to drop off. You can see that there are no red areas. There's nothing in the uh, purple area. Uh, we still have some green and orange, but uh, the wind's really dying down by 10 o'clock tonight. So we just have to get through today. Then, heat advisory. That's on until 5 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, we also have the uh, high wind advisory and the high wind warning. Those are on until 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon. And those encompass all the areas we're talking about in through the valleys, the upper desert areas, the desert areas, Inland Empire, in through Orange County. Fire weather warning until 10 o'clock tonight. That's when the winds really start to drop off. The humidity will drop off. And we'll get two days at least of cooler temperatures and uh, t uh, unwindy conditions. Or, uh, we won't see the winds uh, as strong. And then, though, unfortunately, Sunday, more strong winds will be moving into the area. There okay, you go. Okay, no problem, we will. And then he began to leave, and I said, wait, 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 because there's a whole bunch of people in these homes. None of them know they're supposed to be evacuated. There, 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 there. So they started going home to home and knocking on the doors, and the whole neighborhood left. A tricky bit is when your power's out, yeah. you have a limited 
uh, resource for getting information. And of course, we're like desperately trying to keep our phones charged and get in the car and charge a little, you know, that kind of thing. Right. Um, and I tried very hard to get on SoCal Edison's information site, that did not happen. And so you're a little bit in the dark, but Mary's There's husband- You're literally in the dark. Okay. And, then, and, then, yes. uh, and then a little more than <laughs> Following that. the road closures, they've been changing throughout the morning. Mm -hmm. What is the latest on that? So here's the latest, a lot of closures. So uh, just bear with me, I'll, I'll go through it as quickly as I can. Uh, both sides of the 14 closed from Golden Valley to Agua Dulce. Uh, the northbound side closed from Golden Valley to Agua Dulce. However, the southbound side closed from Agua Dulce to Soledad Canyon. Sierra Highway also closed between Davenport and Golden Valley. Bouquet Canyon also closed at Vasquez Canyon. So if you're in maybe the Lancaster area and you need to get to the LA Basin today, here are a couple of alternates. Uh, because of that 14 freeway being closed, you can take the 138 to the 5. But keep in mind, this will take a lot of extra time. I know you're not going to get any rest anytime soon, but thank you for taking a moment with us. I want to have my photographer, Greg, actually pan over because we've been showing you this one home. But if you look over here, this is the 14 freeway that we've been talking about. This home just goes right up into it. And what I noticed as we come over to this side is that the winds really just come line up this area. You can see just how much hillside was charred overnight here, but these winds I think are, are kind of crazy all over this area, but certainly kind of pulling up through these hillsides and then coming up here. It is just relentless in this area, much worse than people who kind of go farther into the neighborhood. And that is the other concern is that they just, there's not a lot of places where fire crews can go to get a break. The winds were just kind of tearing through this area. It is surreal to see how quiet it is to see that freeway completely closed. But you can see all, as we look up and down, just how many fire crews are kind of stationed all through this area. Because even though right now we're not seeing any flames here, we know that this fire is still going. When we look over even farther to the left, we can still see smoke in the distance. So there are a lot of crews that are kind of on standby watching. There's you know, aerial crews doing what they can. Still a lot that is here that they have to worry about.